Hello boys and girls, my name is Mr. Rollins and today we're going to take a look at some different types of weather tools. One weather tool I have is a wind sock and wind socks are used to measure the amount of wind that is blowing, the movement of wind. And wind is somewhat invisible but we can see what it does with the movement of objects. And I see that the wind is starting to blow just a little bit out here in our butterfly garden. And how do I know that? Because our windsock is moving. Here we have another cool weather tool. It's the wind vane or weather vane. And the cool thing about it is it points in the direction that the wind is coming from, not the direction that the wind is going to. So we've got these letters here, and these letters stand for something. The S stands for South, the W stands for West, the N stands for North, and the E stands for East. So when the wind is blowing, the top part will spin and point in the direction that that wind is coming from. Now the other neat thing is, these need to be placed up way high so that the wind can blow through it and most of the time these are set on very tall buildings on barns and roofs and um, so that way you can see where the wind is coming from so here's our third weather tool known as a rain gauge and notice it has increments that we can measure precipitation okay the precipitation has to fall in the top of the rain gauge in order to be counted in the rain gauge. When you're putting the rain gauge outside, you wanna make sure that you place it in an open area so that any precipitation that falls, it all will fall in here in the top, okay? Notice there's no trees hanging over. It's not near the building. It's out here in the open so the precipitation falls in the top. Our fourth weather tool is a thermometer. And the cool thing about thermometers is they can tell you what temperature it is. So the reason I'm under this tree with thermometers, you always wanna place them in some place that has shade because if they're in direct sunlight, it won't give you an accurate temperature. So we can put it right under this tree and we can come back and, and look at it later to see what the temperature is. So we've let a little time pass and we wanna take a look at what the real temperature is. So let's take a look at our thermometer. So here it says it's about 70 degrees Fahrenheit or about 20 degrees Celsius. And it is a cloudy day, so we know that the clouds are keeping the sun away. And that is a little cool for this spring day. So another fun way to know if air is moving is by using bubbles. And if you'd like to make your own bubbles at home, you may have this in your cabinet. Here's Cairo syrup and Dawn dishwashing liquid. I use a one-to-one -one ratio mixed with water. So ask your parents to help and you too can have fun exploring weather. So tomorrow, before you go outside, think about the types of weather tools that you could use to predict the weather.